Okay, we're looking at a, another way of doing a gestural drawing. Um, here we have a, a, a photograph of a tornado, and we've got lovely greys and blacks and whites. And um, so one way of doing this gestural work is to have an image like this and have a go at copying it out. For this particular work, this is Mr Lee's work, and he has been using a charcoal pencil. He's only just got himself started and is using gesso paint. I've got some gesso paint in here and largely it is finger painting. So one way of approaching this is to have uh, an image that you're going to copy, that you've found a, a beautiful storm cloud like uh, Turner's uh, work and then you um, copy it. Uh, another way is by using the things that we already know in our own uh, learning about landscape. And that is that we have a horizon line that's parallel with the top and the bottom. Um, that we have um, perhaps um, some landscape form. And I'm going to do a view that I see almost daily, and that is uh, Whangaparoa and Tiri Island across the water. Um, and I'm going to have a, um, a set of breaking waves coming in. So this is all from memory. I know my conventions of uh, landscape is that far away the water is going to be dark and this is going to be a really stormy day anyway so I'm going to use quite a lot of charcoal in the background and I'm using my charcoal in a linear fashion because that's the marks that I see on the sea And likewise with the sky, it's going to be largely dark at the top. Now, this charcoal base is just what I'm going to smudge and play with. So it's far from finished. It's just a base. Um, in my land masses, I want these to be quite dark, but I'm going to have my light coming from this side, so little parts of the island are going to pick up that light, and other bits are going to be darker. And it's the same on this landscape here. So very quickly now we have the basics and what I'm ready to do now is to start playing with uh, smudging and cloud formation. So, first of all, a bit of gesso. So, uh, gesso is just a white undercoat. It's a water-based one. Um, I'm going to now um, start to play with my clouds. I'm going to have my clouds racing along this way. So, I'm going to start off with this that fade off. Mixes beautifully with the charcoal.
a little bit of water. I want to have, I want to work these upside down because I want this wave to break along a jagged edge. As it goes along the shore and then I want the top line to be a parallel line. So where I've gone a little bit high here I can actually come back with my charcoal and fix that up a bit later. I'm going to have another smaller break. Out here. Now there is the the basics to my landscape sorted out. At this stage I'm going to let that dry off um, and then I'm going to come back and apply a little more charcoal and a little more uh, gesso to build the image up. I want to have some rain clouds of some sort um, and I want to do a little more with the um, wave pattern through there. Uh, but at this stage it's time to uh, stop and let that dry.